Hi, this is problem 9, 13 from chapter 9, which is center of mass. So we want to find the center of this figure, which is a volume, and we can divide the figure in three different volumes. So I will divide that as triangle A. This one, the whole rectangle that is behind B, and this triangle C. And I will do a little table as usual. So our table will have the volume number. So, and here I will write the volume. Where the X of this volume is located, where the Y is located, and when the C is volumes. located. And as I say, I have volume A, volume B, and volume C. Let's start by volume A, which is this triangle right here, which have a depth, right? So we know that the area of this side of the triangle is base, which is 1.5, time height, which is 1. So let's write it right here. The volume of A is base, which is, I said, 1.5, times height, 1.8, divided by 2, by the depth. And if you multiply all those numbers, you get that this volume is 0 0.675, and the units are meters, so it's meters cubed. Volume B. The volume B will be, as I said, the whole rectangle that even goes behind the triangle. So the base is 2.5. The height is 1.8. In this case, I don't divide by 2, right? And I have to multiply it by the depth, which is 0 0.5. And that gives me a volume of 2.25 meter cubed. And then I have the volume of the third figure, which is this triangle right here. The base is 1.5, the height is 1.8, divided by 2, and multiply by the depth. And it gives me exactly the same as the first one, 0 0.675 meter cubed. Those are the vo values that I will input right here. So I will write here that my units are meter Cube, so I don't have to write the units in each box, and I will put 0 0.675, 2.25, and 0 0.675. All of those meter cube. Now we have to find each of the values of the centroid of each of these figures. So this is a local centroid, and it is not a total centroid. So where is the lo location of this, uh, the location of the centroid of A? You know that for a triangle will be one third of the base, one third of the height, and in the middle of the, so this is the middle, and one third, so it's located right here. So for X, it will be one third of 1.5, which is 0 0.5, but I have to add 0 0.5 because I have to measure it from the origin of my center of coordinates. So therefore, this one is 1. It's 0 0.5 plus 0 0.5. In Y, it will be in this direction and it will be in the center of my depth, which is 0 0.25. And in C, it will be the height and we say that is one third of 0 0.8, which is 0 0.6. Good, so for the second one is the rectangle. For x, I see that is the half of the depth, which is the half of 0 0.5, 0 0.25 in x. In y, we have is in the middle of the rectangle. So we have 2 plus 0 0.5 is 2.5, so that will be 125. And C will be the middle of the triangle, which is 1.8 divided by 2, 0 0.9. And at the end, we have this 
triangle right here. In X will be the middle of this depth, right? So it will be 0 0.25 again. In Y will be, it is at one third of 1.5, right? It's right here, but since I have to take it into consideration that is being measured from the origin, I have to add the 2.5. So it will be one third is 0 0.5. And then plus 2 plus 0.5 is equals to 3, right? So this is equals to 3. And then I have the, the height, which is one third of 1.8, which is 0 0.6. So now that I have all the values, I use the definition of a center of mass for a volume will be equals to x times the volume divided by the total volume. The total volume we will be the adding all those values. V A plus V B plus V C, which is if you add all that, I have the result right here is 3.6 meter cube. So this volume we have, so we have to do the summation in the top. Let's do that. So that will be one times the first volume plus 0 0.25 times the second volume <coughs> times 0 0.25 times the third volume. And we divide that over the total volume, which is 3.6. And that gives me the value for x, which if you do all these calculations, this is 1.4 zero six divided by three point six and that gives me x zero point three nine one meters. So that gives us the first coordinate of our centroid for that composed volume. The second one is the same but taking V so if I do exactly the same, but for the second coordinate, I will have 0 0.25 times the first volume plus 1.25 times the second volume plus 3 times the third volume. And all that divided by 3.6, which is the same volume. And that gives me the result, and the result is 5.007 divided by 3.6, and that gives me the value for y, and it's 1.39 meters. So we have the second coordinate for our centroid, and we will do the last one, is for c. So we do exactly the same for c, but taking into, this is the local, let me write it correctly, and this doesn't have a, so the local volume divided by the total volume, and we do the same. So now the third coordinate is 0 0.6 times the first volume plus the 0 0.9 times the second volume plus the third one, 0 0.6 times the third volume divided by the total volume, 3.6. And then we got that this is equals to 2.835 divided by 3.6, and that gives me the value of the third coordinate, which is 0 0.79 meters. So I can leave everything with only two decimals, so to be consistent, And that gives me the coordinate. So if I have to say where the centroid of this figure is located, it will be at 0 0.39 in x. So 1.39, so it will be about here. This is my g and the coordinates of g. Let me put them over here. G, my coordinates for g will be 0 0.39, 1.39. And 0 0.79.
and this is the solution of this problem.